Here we are today in Miss Puckett's amazing first grade class, and we're learning how to draw 10 2D shapes using the Sketchbook Express app for iPad. Please repeat the name of each Sketchbook Express application icon after me on a level two. Gallery. Gallery. Add new sketch. Add new sketch. I for information. I for information. Undo arrow. Undo arrow. Redo arrow. Redo arrow. Brush editor. Brush editor. Draw styles. Draw styles. Free draw. Free draw. Line tool. Line tool. Rectangle tool. Rectangle tool. Circle tool. Circle tool. Symmetry. Symmetry. Text. Text. Transform. Transform. Layers. Layers. Today when we draw our 10 two-dimensional shapes, we will be using line tool, rectangle, and circle tool. We're going to use fill bucket to fill them up with color. And then we're going to use our text tool to label each one with its name. So, please check your brush editor. I recommend you use the thin pen to draw with today. It gives you a nice thin line. Also, I suggest that you use your circle tool, rectangle tool, and line tool to start off with. Yeah. I haven't asked to get you. Can you please come with me? You're not in trouble, don't worry. Okay. Does he need his book bag in his yeah, bag? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right, let's go back to making our video. Okay. So, we're going to start by using rectangle tool. Right here is your rectangle tool under draw styles. Everybody say draw styles. Draw styles. And it looks like a square, but it helps us make squares and rectangles. So I'm going to draw the square and the rectangle that are pictured on the board. When you have your rectangle tool, you just pull it out. Now, a square is a rectangle, except it has four equal sides. So there is my square. Here's my rectangle in the middle. I'm going to draw it in the same place and pull out a rectangle. A rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. They're my first two shapes. They were so easy to do using the rectangle tool. Next, I'm going to use circle tool. Everyone say circle tool. Circle tool. It helps me make circles and ovals. So I'm going to select it. When it's selected, I see the circle right here. And I'm going to draw my circle and my oval on the 2D shape chart. So when I draw a circle, I've got to make sure that when I pull it out, I don't make it too tall and skinny like an oval or too thin and wide like an oval. I have to pull diagonally so it keeps my circle equal all the way around. Then I'm going to do my oval, which is right here. For my oval, I do want to make it tall and thin like an oval. After I've created those four, I only have six left to go, so I can use a line tool to make them quickly and easily. Please find your line tool under Draw Styles. Everyone say, Line Tool. Line Tool. When you select your line tool, it's very easy to make all of the other polygons, flat shapes with straight sides. Let's start with Parallelogram. Whoa, Parallelogram. A parallelogram is a lot like a rectangle that's been pushed over to the side. It has two long sides, top and bottom, that are the same length and they run parallel. And it has two short sides on the sides that are the same length and also go parallel. Here's how I start my parallelogram. I do the line on the top. And I do the line on the bottom. And I try to make them the same length and make them parallel. And then I do the two sides. Like this? And I need to make sure when I'm drawing with the line tool that I close my corners off. So make sure that your lines touch and those corners are closed or you won't be able to use fill bucket to fill them up with color. Next I'm going to do my triangle. Triangle has three sides. All the corners touch. It has three corners. There's our triangle. Now, the third one is a tricky shape. It's the trapezoid. It's very tricky. It looks a lot like a triangle that someone has cut the top off of. So when I'm drawing a trapezoid, I start just like the parallelogram. I do the bottom line, and then I do a parallel shorter line above it. 
And then I do two angled sides like the triangle. If you draw like mine and your corners don't touch, please use undo arrow and try it again. Make sure you close your corners and that those corners touch. Otherwise, it's not a closed shape and you won't be able to use fill bucket to fill it up with color. So I just hit undo arrow and try it again. And there's my trapezoid. My next shape on the shape chart is the rhombus. Another name for the rhombus is a diamond. It has four sides. These two sides are parallel. And these two sides are parallel. <laughs> My next one is the pentagon. The pentagon has five straight sides. When I'm drawing the pentagon, I start like a triangle. The top is pointed very much like a triangle. So that's how I start my pentagon. And then I create two angled sides underneath that do not touch. That leaves me space for my fifth and final side. Every pentagon has five straight sides. My last shape is the star. I'm going to use five straight lines to make my star just like I did my pentagon, but I have a technique that I'd like to teach you. When I'm doing a star, like the five-pointed star on the board, I start by thinking about a triangle, just like the triangle above it. However, I do not draw a line that connects it in the bottom. Instead, I make an X in the middle of that star, just like this. I make an X in the middle of the star, and then I can almost see my five-pointed star. I think about these as being the legs of the star, and these parts as being the arms of the star. I need one more line. And I draw it straight across the middle of my star. This actually gives me a pentagon in the middle and five triangles on the sides. It is the same way I drew this star right here. However, I erased the lines in the example star. You can erase them or you can leave them there. Once I've done all of my shapes, it's really easy to pick my fill bucket. Hello, fill bucket. Hello, fill bucket. And quickly fill my shapes up with colors. I'll find out very quickly if I didn't close any of my corners because the color will run out everywhere on my screen. You don't have to match the colors on the examples that I'm showing you, but right now I'm quickly trying to match the examples. I also want to pick a beautiful background color. You can pick any colors that you like when you're drawing today. I'm mixing my colors up some so each one of my shapes looks a little bit different. And then we're going to talk about how to use the text tool to type the names of your shapes. I'm using fill bucket to fill all of my shapes up. Next, I need to type the names. So this is a really important skill to us for us to use at Montlou since we have iPad computers. We need to be practicing using the text tool. Everyone say text tool. Text tool. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. That's where we find our text tool. Press the three dots and you get two more selections, text and transform. We're going to use text. Whenever you tap text, you get the last word that you typed. It was Sonia's name on my iPad. Let me X out of that and I'm going to type my, my new word. It's square. S Q U. A R E. You can pick any one of the fonts you would like to type in. So any font that you see, you can do a different font for each one. Everybody say font. Font. That's your style of writing. So I'm going to leave it on the font that's selected. And once you type a word, if it's on free, just grab it with two fingers and you can put it on your shape. And then press done. Once you press done, that word is stuck there. You can't move square now. I'm going to tap text again, and this time when I tap text, I get the last word I typed. I don't want that word anymore. What I want to do is X out of it. I can press this X or this X and take that word away. And my next word is going to be circle. So I type in circle. Grab it with two fingers, put it on my circle and press done. And I repeat this for each one of my words. Hit text, I get circle. I X out, I type parallelogram. Grab it with two fingers, put it on my parallelogram, press done. 
I hit text, I get the last word I typed. I X out of it, I type my new word, trapezoid. Grab it with two fingers, put it where I want, press done. I press text again, I get the last word I typed. I X out of it, type my new word, rectangle. I put it on my rectangle. Again, if I have free selected, I just grab it with two fingers to, pr to place it where I want and press done. My next word is triangle. So I press text. I get my last word. I X out of it. I type my new word, triangle. Grab it with two fingers, put it where I want, press done. I need my new word. I press text. I get my old word. I X out of it. I type my new word, oh. Grab it with two fingers, put it where I want, press done. I need my new word. I press text, I get my old word. I X out of it. I type my new word, rhombus, and grab it with two fingers, put it on the rhombus, press done. You can't really see it. You're right, I can't. Let me hit undo. That's how I take it away once I press done. So I'm going to press text again. I get the same word again. I'm going to change the color and make it bright. Nice bright yellow, and put it on my rhombus. Now I can see it. I press done. I press text for my new word. I get my old word. I X out of it. I type my new word. Pentagon. Grab it with two fingers. Put it on Pentagon. Press done. I type text. I get my old word. I X out of it. I type my new word. Star. Grab it with two fingers. Put it where I want. And press done. The last thing I'm going to do is give my work a title. My title is going to be two dimensional. I'll write my name. Two dimensional shapes. And I'll put that at the bottom. Terrence said something really smart. Terrence says, I need to put my name. So the last thing I'm going to do is type my name. Text two, I get my old word, I X out, I use a capital. My name always starts with a capital. Capital M R period. Capital W E L L S. Mr. Wells, I put my name in the bottom right. And then I press done. I'm finished. So I press plus and save. Here it is in my gallery. If I want to send it to Shobi, I tap my picture and flower arrow to send it to my photo library. Then it's ready for me to upload in Shobi. Thank you to everyone who listened quiet and respectfully and has been working hard to draw your 10 two-dimensional geometric plane shapes. Miss Plunkett's class, give me a oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you.